Welcome to another edition of Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge Tips and Tricks brought to you by HollywoodPhoto.com. I'm Eric and today I'm going to show you the Do Not Disturb mode that is built into Android Marshmallow and is found on the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Basically allows you to silence your phone without missing those really important phone calls or text from people you want to be able to get through. So basically we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into sounds and vibration and then go down to do not disturb and you can see right now it's off so do not disturb you can click that button right there and that turns on the do not disturb mode and that'll basically silence everything until you turn it off you can also turn on a schedule and if you do that then you can have a weekly schedule if there's certain times of the day or night probably that you definitely don't want to be disturbed then you can set that up and turn that on and this is the key down here at the bottom you have allow exceptions so when you click that you can see no exceptions that means it's going to mute all calls and all alerts you can change it to alarms only so then it will allow alarms to sound or vibrate even if the do not disturb mode is turned on that's handy I guess if you're going to be using it at night you don't want anything to get through but you want your alarm to go off in the morning and then there is a custom and that's really what's important when you hit custom you can set it up to be exactly the way you want it to be you can choose to have alarms go through or not repeat callers so this means if the same person a same phone number calls more than once within 15 minutes which if it's an emergency they probably would so you can turn that on you can set up for specific people so even if this person calls just once you let that get through or text messages from specific people if that person texts you you want that to be able to get through and override do not disturb events and task alerts so you can allow uh, any event or task alert from cal calendar events or tasks to get through. Uh, reminders, so any reminder, if you have Google Now Reminders set up and you want that to be able to notify you even if you're in Do Not Disturb mode, you can set that up. And then priority app notifications, so you can uh, set uh, any specific apps to have priority uh, so that a notification from that app will get through even if you're in Do Not Disturb mode. Um, which is kind of cool and you see you can turn it on for specific apps So it really gives you full control anytime you're in the do not disturb mode to have exactly what you want uh, To get through to be able to get through um, And that's how you set it up now. There is another way to turn this on and off uh, You can see you can turn it on there But you don't want to have to go into your settings every time you want to go into do not disturb mode so that from your quick setting panels you can see right here do not disturb so you can turn that on you can turn it off so turn it off right there anyway that's how you set it up once you have that set up anytime you're say you're going into a movie you want to just put it in do not disturb that way everything is silenced but you can allow those exceptions for emergency uh, callers who are calling twice in a row or for text from maybe your kids or someone important you can allow whatever you want to get through to get through it's really up to you full control really great feature of the uh, s7 and s7 edge uh, built into the android marshmallow anyway that's it for this tip and trick if you like it please click that like button jump over to my channel check out uh, all my other reviews subscribe to this playlist for future s7 tips and tricks as well as uh, accessory reviews and all kinds of cool stuff check out my product review playlist for all kinds of smartphone and tablet accessories lots of stuff you'll be able to put to use with your s7 and s7 edge check out my android app review playlist for all kinds of android apps to make your phone better and if you really want to take full control of your phone through automation check out my tasker 101 tutorials anyway that's it until next time so have fun with your samsung galaxy s7 we